and welcome. Today I'm doing a very special video that I am so excited for and I've been planning for a while. If you saw last year, I did a booktube's favorite books of 2018 video where I had a bunch of people send me in clips for what, talking about what their favorite book was and I had a lot of fun doing that project and so I decided I wanted to do it again this year and so I reached out to a bunch of people and I had them send in a clip if they were able to just talking about their favorite book and why it was their favorite of the year. I just love doing this video because I think it's really cool to see a bunch of different people's perspectives and see the different reading tastes on booktube and the books that really have stuck with everyone throughout the year of 2019. The way that I structured this video is that just for the sake of time, since I did ask a lot of people to participate, no one will be giving summaries of the books. It will just be the reasons why they love the book. I just think for the sake of time, it just makes it a little bit easier. And I will leave links to all of the books Goodreads page in the description below. So if you are curious about more about what that book is about, just head on down there and you can see and I will of course leave links to all of the creators as well. I just want to say thank you to everyone that participated. It really means a lot that you were able to send me in a clip and I'm really excited for how this video is going to turn out. So without further ado, let's just go into the clips. Hi, my name's Leora and I'm from Books with Leo. I'm a feminist filmmaker and also freelance creative and I love vintage fashion, books and art and yeah, on here I talk mostly about books. <laughs> but I also have my own Etsy store where I sell my prints and art stuff and bookish stuff so yeah that's me. <laughs> Kate asked me to tell you all about my favorite book of 2019 which I think is such an honor so thank you so much Kate I love to do this. My favorite book that I read this year was definitely Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Guys this book. <laughs> this book is about Frances who's a straight A student and Alid who runs a podcast called University and Frances makes fan art for University and Alid is the creator of University but they don't know this of each other. And this book just has such a gorgeous, beautiful friendship developing inside of it. At the same time, this book is really about the pressure that society, our parents, university, school, and the systems put on us to perform in school and to be a good person, get good grades, um, be a straight A student and, you know, do well. Um, that's a lot of pressure, especially on young people. And this book is really about that. But at the same time, this book is about finding yourself, discovering your sexuality, discovering who you are, really a coming of age story, I'd say. I want to thank Alice Oseman for making my reading year extra great with this amazing gem of a book. And I also want to thank all of BookTube and Kate for inviting me to talk about this in this video. Hopefully I'll see some of you on my channel and hopefully I'll also make some new friends in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much and bye-bye. Hey everyone, my name's Austin, AKA Sovereign Novels. You can find me under that handle at Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. I want to show you guys my favorite book of 2019. If you follow me on Twitter, especially on Twitter, you will know, I think you'll already guess what this is. There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. I got this book at BookCon, just randomly, I had never even heard of it, at the Fierce Reads booth, and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. It has a dynamic cast of five characters. They're um, really diverse, come from all these different backgrounds. Has like a very Middle Eastern-ish feeling uh, for the setting. And the plot is very unique. Honestly, probably one of my favorite books of all time. Don't sleep on it, okay? Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Becca from In A Bookshell and my favorite book that I read in 2019 was Off Planets by Aline Aaron. This is the first book in the Onair Chronicles and it's kind of like a sci-fi-ish genre. And I don't normally read sci-fi but this one definitely caught my attention. The world is so creative and unlike anything I've ever read before. Our main character is so strong and independent and she just stands up for what she believes in and goes through so many struggles in this book. The secondary characters were also amazing and just as enjoyable and I can't wait to learn more about them in the next book which comes out in 2020. Overall this book was just so great and I couldn't even put it down so I'm so excited to read more of the series in the future. Hello I'm Noria and my favorite book of 2019 has to be The Dragon Republic by Arif Kwong. This is a sequel to The Poppy War which was my favorite book of 2018 and Arif Kwong once again confirmed that she's the master telling stories especially war stories. She not only showed us the horrors of war but she also showed character development. Each of these characters intrinsically changed 
changed through war and through the discovery of powers that they had no idea that they had in the first place. I love the fact that we're able to see Rain grow. I love the fact that we're able to see her coming to our own. I love the fact that we're able to see characters that we thought had gone return. And I love the fact that ultimately this book is about who pays the price during a war and the need for people that society will always treat as expendable to stand up and fight back. And I enjoyed every moment of this. This is definitely my favorite book of 2019. The writing, the characters, the plot, everything was just A plus perfection for me. Hi, my name is Nikki from the channel XO Nikki. All of my social media handles are exactly the same. I don't have one single favorite of 2019, but the one that I think made me feel the most like, oh my god, I love this so much while I was reading it and I didn't want it to end would be House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. It just feels so beautiful and atmospheric and I know that it is a fairy tale retelling, but it really captured that feeling so well. I didn't want the book to be over. I was really sad when it was over and I just immediately wanted to reread it and just immerse myself in that world all over again. So while it might not be my one single favorite of the year, it's definitely up there because it caught me completely off guard. Hey friends, my name's Alana from The Awkward Book Nerd, and my favorite book of the year was The Beautiful by Renee Adier. Um, I absolutely adored this read. I love vampires. They're kind of like my obsession. So the fact that this is kind of starting the trend again um, brings me so much joy. I also love the atmosphere and just the characters in general, and I think this is definitely a book you should check out and fall in love with. Hey everyone, my name is Brittany and I am from the channel Brittany the Bibliophile here on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure if this is like my all-time favorite, but it was definitely, definitely in the top three. And that's gonna be Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paupretto. It just had so many elements of fantasy that I absolutely adore, but like in a totally brand new way. And the character development was so flawless and I absolutely loved the incorporation of the myth of the phoenix. I think that the mythology in this world really takes the cake. Yeah, that's gonna have to be the one that I'm gonna call my favorite for right now. So thank you so, so much to Katie for having me on your channel and I can't wait to see everyone else's favorite books of the year. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, my name is Keely from the channel Mermaid Keely and my favorite book of 2019 was House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. I honestly think this is the most atmospheric book I have ever read and I felt like even though there were so many characters, everyone was really unique and I could really tell them apart. I really, really enjoyed it and I honestly didn't expect it to be as creepy as it was. Hi, I'm Kevin from the channel Irish Reader and my favourite book from 2019 is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I absolutely love and adore this book so much with all of my heart and I know a lot of other people also loved it this year but it was just such a great book and I'm so glad it exists and it's in the world. I think the main reason why I love this book so so much is not only because the romance is so freaking cute and adorable and like it's just a world I wish I lived in because the politics in this world I wish was a reality but besides those details I also think I love it so much because Growing up, I always wanted a book where there was like a prince falling in love with another boy. Like I've seen all those movies like Prince and I and stuff where it's always the prince falling in love with a girl and I've just always wanted one where I could see myself represented. And finally this book came out and it exists in the world and it just fulfilled what I've been seeking for so many years. And I just think for that reason alone, that's why I love this book so much. And if you haven't picked it up and you haven't read it yet, Highly recommend you do because it's so freaking good. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and you can find me on my social medias at Storyglyph, whether that's Bookstagram, Book2, Goodreads, or Twitter. Thank you so much for Katie for inviting me to do this. And my favorite read of the year for 2019 is House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. I really enjoyed the atmosphere of this book the most. A lot of people did not like the ending, including me, but I thought overall the feeling that it put me into, the dark, moody vibes that it gave, the suspense, the eeriness, really, really, really made me enjoy this book so much and brought me and reminded me of something that I really enjoyed when I was younger, which is this dark, kind of depressing undertone vibe. And I am so happy to discover that because I've been trying to search for what I kind of like in books because I have an identity crisis. And now this book helped me do that. <laughs> I know it's not necessarily like the best book in the world, but this is my favorite read of the year. Um, thank you so much, you all. I hope you've had a good year, and I will see you all next year.
Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and my channel is Shut Up and Read and my favorite book of 2019 would definitely have to be Nightingale by Chris and Hannah. This book was phenomenal. I absolutely love the characters. I think Chris and Hannah did a fantastic job with having them come to life and evoked so many emotions from me. I will also definitely say that this book is a very emotional read. It made me tear up numerous times because of the setting, because of what they had to go through and honestly this book is just so well written as well. So from the characters to the plot to the emotions that were evoked. I think this book was so freaking good and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a really great historical fiction with a lot of great characters. Hi guys my name is Chanel and I'm from the channel Chanel Time and my favorite book of 2019 was The Sun is Also a Star. I absolutely adored this book because it focused on Natasha who is a black immigrant and as a black immigrant I felt very represented and very seen and just very understood and I just felt like the story was so beautiful and it made me cry a lot. A lot of the experiences that Natasha had I had experienced as well and it was just the most touching thing that I could ever have possibly read. I I also really connected to Daniel's character because I'm very interested in Korean culture and it was very nice to read about the different histories that connect Koreans and black people and I just really loved learning a lot about different cultures and this book just will forever hold a special place in my heart. Hello, my name is Isabella and I run the channel for Earth Pages and my favorite book of 2019 was the one, the only, Daisy Jones and the Six written by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I feel like there's so much to say about this book that I don't even know where to begin. Like there's so many things to love and to discuss and to analyze. Like I could go on and on about this book. It has a very unique format. It's written in the interview kind of reporter asking each individual character certain questions and you kind of get the story from their perspective and it's just so interesting and I feel like the best part about this book is the characters. I honestly I fell in love with the characters and I fell in love with how they interact and how flawed they are. Like they are such a mess. They're a crazy hot mess and I'm so here for it. And even though I don't relate to being like a rock star that has a drug addiction, um, I still kind of saw myself a little bit in each of the characters, especially Camilla. <laughs> With my dying breath, I will still be talking about how much I love Daisy Jones and the Six and if you guys are planning on reading this, I would highly recommend that you do so in audiobook form because in the audiobook there's a different voice actor for every character and they're just, it's just so good and it's so immersive and you feel like you're right there with them. I don't, it's just so heartbreaking when you finish this book and you realize that you're never going to be able to listen to their music because they're not a real band. <laughs> It's just so good. There's so much to talk about. So I'm just gonna stop here because I'm making a fool of myself. Please read Daisy Jones and Six. Look at it. She's a beauty. Please read it. Yes. Yes. Read her. Make Daisy proud. <laughs> Hi, my name is Madison Mary from the channel Princess of Paperback. My favorite book of 2019, while there are a lot that I could name, I think that one of the best books I read this year was The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I'm such a huge fan of that book. It is about a girl named Fi and in this world there are different castes all based off of birds and she is from the crow case which is basically the lowest of the low. They don't even have any rights, any magical powers. But what happens is when the crown prince and his bodyguard fake their deaths in order to escape the queen who is trying to kill him. However when the crown prince and his bodyguard fake their deaths in order to escape the queen who is trying to kill them, they end up enlisting the help of the crows to get them to new allies. And so we follow three characters. So we follow Fi and then we follow the prince and his bodyguard. Bodyguard. And it's such a fun series. I absolutely loved it. I know that it's definitely not for everyone because there is a lot of lore in it and there's a lot to understand. But for me, it was one of the best books that I read this year and I'm super excited for the sequel to come out in 2020, which is Faithless Hawk. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm from the channel Nicole and Her Books. And my favorite book from 2019 is Boundary Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is an adult fantasy and I loved it mostly because of the characters. I loved that we met them and I thought I knew exactly what 
to expect from them and they all surprised me. I adore unpredictability in books and this was unpredictable from the characters and also from the plot. It's set in this really cool steampunk world and the magic system was really different to anything I've ever read and I loved it so so much. And there was also a little bit of a tease of a romance happening at the end of the book and it's a sapphic romance and I'm so excited to see that happen in book two. Hi guys, my name is Trin and I am from the booktube channel Transformers. So in 2019, I have read a lot of amazing books, but I think my favorite book of this year has to be Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is an adult romance novel and it follows two main characters named Elliot and Macy. I see myself in the main character, Macy. She has gone through so much regarding her parents' deaths, particularly her struggle with her mother's death. I understand her pain and her sadness because I lost my dad when I was very young. But I also see my relationship with my boyfriend Jonathan in Macy and Elliot. The fact that they were friends to lovers and then of course they both love reading. Literature is the thing that connect those two characters together and I just love it so much. And then of course like I said I just really relate to the main character Macy because she has the exact same thoughts that I had months ago. I love this book so much and if you're in the mood to read a very emotional but wonderful adult romance novel then I highly recommend love in other words. Hi it's Amy from A Quarter of Crowns and Quills. My Instagram is actually also A Quarter of Crowns and Quills and my Twitter is just Crowns and Quills but uh, my favorite book of 2019 is hands down The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the sequel to The Cruel Prince. I just love this series so so much. It has political intrigue and involves fairies and mortals and it just has a really really good enemies to lovers romance that's a super slow burn <laughs> but yeah it's so so good and i hope you'll check it out hey guys i'm lucy and i'm from the channel crescent pages thank you so much katie for letting me be a part of this video it's such a good idea and i'm honored to be a part of it so my favorite book of 2019 won't be a surprise if you know me but that is going to be the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. What I love about this book is how Tolkien creates his world. The way that he does it is so magical and he includes songs and poems and it really adds to the atmosphere and the magical sort of feeling that you get from his world. And the writing is so beautiful, it just really feels like this is this real world that he's written about and I just love immersing myself into it. So this is definitely my favourite book of 2019 and my favourite book of all time. <laughs> Hello, my name is Melanie or Mel to the Any, and my favourite book of 2019 was The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Uh, probably not too much of a surprise. And this is a series all about finding your voice and reclaiming certain spaces and finding uh, power in different strengths that you have and the vast spectrum of um, finding that strength and what the word strength means. Uh, this book also definitely analyzes a bunch of messy gray area relationships uh, both with your family and your loved ones but also romantically as well and I just love it so much. I truly believe that this is a once in a lifetime series for me. Holly Black is the reason that I love all things Fae and this just means everything to me and this concluding novel was truly a work of art. Definitely my favorite book of the year. Hi everyone! My name is Sandy from the channel Sandy Reads A Lot and one of my favorite books that I've read in 2019 is Crier's War by Nina Varela. I loved the slow burning enemies to lover romance between the two main characters Crier and Ayla. It's a sapphic relationship that's filled with so much angst and was just so well developed. The world these characters lived in was also really fascinating to learn about because there's the existence of Otome which are mechanical beings that can look act and think like humans. Cryer is an Automa while Ayla is a human and I love seeing these two characters who come from very different lives interact with one another. The Automa rule society while the humans are considered the lower class. Overall this is a book that I did not want to put down. It deals with themes of oppression and privilege and what it means to be human. If you have not read this book I would highly recommend it. It is a five out of five stars for me. Hi you guys my name is Jasmine. I'm from the channel Lamore Day Books and before I do anything I want to first thank Katie for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this collab. So Katie gave me the hard task of saying what my favorite book of 2019 was. This was such a hard task for me, but I think I found 
one of my favorites. And it is Strange the Dreamer by Lanny Taylor. I absolutely love this book because of the poetic writing. I love the journey. I fell in love with the characters and overall it was just an amazing book. I highly recommend it and for those reasons I 100% loved this book so much. So yeah, Strange the Dreamer was my favorite read of 2019. I just love this book so 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 much and I want to reread it right now. So yeah, favorite book of 2019 and thank you Katie. <laughs> Okay, and now it is my turn to talk about my favorite book of the year, and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I do have two editions, and I actually read this book twice within the span of like two months, which I never ever do, but because we were reading it for the Overhyped Book Club, I was like, you want to, I want to read it again. So I read it physically, and I also listened to the audiobook, and the fact that I read a book again in such a close time frame really speaks a lot because I just like absolutely adored it. I just like, they describe Elizabeth as an agent of chaos and um, that's how I would describe myself. So I feel like I really saw a lot of myself in her character. I love the world building, just the fact that we have these magical libraries with these books that are sentient and feel things. I think that as book lovers, a lot of us wish that our books could feel things back for us that we feel for them. And so it was kind of cool wish fulfillment in that sense. I did love the relationship between Nathaniel and Elizabeth. Like they were just so snarky with each other and cute and yeah i mean sometimes you just like know that a book is for you and it just strikes you in a certain way and this is how i felt with sorcery of thorns i just fell head over heels in love with it when i read it and when i reread it it also still stuck with me that way when i think about it now months later i still think about how much i adore this book and i just really enjoy margaret rogerson's writing i just think it's beautiful and poetic i could go on and on and on and on and i've talked about this book many times in my channel i did have my top books of 2019 video in which i do expand a little bit more on my thoughts but um, yeah just like as a brief overview that is why this, i love this book so much and it really has stuck with me here it is i just wanted to say thank you to everyone again that participated in this project it really means a lot to me that you would send me in a clip and have me put this all together. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know down below what your favorite read of 2019 was, if you if it was represented here on the list or not, and have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>